This is probably the most famous tiara in modern history. Despite strong association with Princess Diana, it actually never belonged to her. It was constructed in the 1930s by the crown jeweler Garrett of different family heirlooms for Lady Cynthia Spencer, Diana's grandmother, and then inherited by her son John, 8th Earl Spencer. The headpiece consists of very romantic elements, diamond flowers and hearts. No wonder it became a wedding tiara for five Spencer brides. But Lady D was not the first one to wear it for her nuptials. Lady Jane Spencer, Diana's eldest sister, donned it in 1978. Then Lady Sarah, second Earl Spencer's daughter, in 1980. But Tiara became truly iconic when Lady Diana appeared with it. For her fairy tale wedding to the Prince of Wales on 29th of July, 1981. She continued to borrow the tiara regularly and seems to prefer it. To Queen Mary's lovers, not tiara from the royal vaults, which was beautiful diadem, but Diana said it gave her headaches. In 1989 the tiara was needed for another bride. A fashion model Victoria Lockwood, who married Viscount Althorpe. Diana's younger brother. In 1992, Diana's father John Spencer died. All titles, estates, and possessions passed to his only son, Charles. After Diana's death in 1997, Earl Spencer put the tiara on public display as part of an exhibition devoted to his sister's life. In 2018, after decades behind the glass, Spencer family heirloom sparkled again on the head of another bride. Celia McCorkadale, daughter of Diana's sister Lady Sarah. Despite speculations in some media that Tiara will be inherited by Princess Charlotte, the truth is, it will be passed to Viscount Althorpe, Earl Spencer's son.